Alright there guys, how you all doing? Hope you're all doing well. Uh, for those of you from the UK, I hope you came through the riots unscathed without any damage done to your properties or cars. Um, got pretty crazy, you know. You know the Arrow Video uh, warehouse got burnt to the ground too, over in Enfield. Uh, it was a massive fire, you probably saw it in the news. So yeah, all the Arrow stock has gone up in smoke unfortunately, which is a real shame. Because uh, they plan to release a couple of decent films. Um, later on this month, they plan to release Midnight. Next month, they plan to release Pieces, which I was really looking forward to. And the Maniac Cop Blu ray as well. So, those releases will probably have to be put on hold for now until uh, Arrow Video get themselves sorted out. Uh, hopefully, they will very soon. But anyway, just got an update to go through now. Um, none of it's been looted, it's all been bought. <laughs> Most of it from CEX. Got a couple of things from Amazon and eBay. Uh, let's get started then. First off, we have the possession of Joel Delaney from 1972. Now, uh, I've been looking to uh, check out some films, um, possession films, prior to The Exorcist. Because um, pretty much every, every possession film since The Exorcist has been a rip-off of it. But this one came out in 72, so it was made the year before Exorcist came out. So I'll be interested to see how the, uh, how the whole possession... Uh, themes gets played out in this one. But it's meant to be pretty good. Maybe not as scary as uh, The Exorcist. It's, it doesn't look like it's particularly scary, but it's meant to be quite creepy. And, uh, yeah. Looking forward to seeing how it plays out. Um, this is UK release. Not a bad release. I believe it's been remastered from the original negatives, so it should be uncut. And you also get a commentary track on here and a 12 page booklet, which was a nice bonus. So, should be uh, an interesting one. That's the possession of Joel Delaney. Alright, next up is an Exorcist ripoff. <laughs> it's The Antichrist from 1974. Um, Italian made sleaze fest. From what I gather, I mean, it's, it's meant to be pretty good for what it is. And I'm really looking forward to watching it. It's about a woman that gets possessed by the spirit of a witch. And she goes around seducing men and murdering them before her. A bunch of priests decide to exercise her, uh, but whether they're successful or not remains to be seen. I haven't seen the film yet, but once again, really look forward to watching it. Been meaning to get it for a while. Um, this is the American Anchor Bay release. It has been released in the UK uncut, but I believe it's a bare bones release. This one's got a couple of interviews. So, that's the Antichrist from 1974. Next up is a video nasty I've been meaning to watch for ages. Finally got it. And it's The Fun House from 1981, Toby Hooper. And yeah, it really shouldn't have been on the nasties list. It was put on there by accident. Um, it was mistaken for another film, I believe, called um, Last House on Dead End Street. So it's quite tame, you know. Not the most glorious of the films, from what I've read and heard. But still, you know, it has to be bought for the collection. And I know the um, Arrow Blu-rays come out recently, but I haven't got a Blu-ray player yet, so this will do for now. No, it's uncut, of course. No special features there. I will get the Arrow release eventually, of course, you know. But anyway, that's the fun house from 81. Right, moving on. We have another video nasty, and it's Evil Speak. Now, I already had the um, American uh, Region 1 release from Anchor Bay, but the UK is a dude 2 disco because you get two cuts of the film. You get the original theatrical version and you get an extended version which runs about 10 minutes long. Uh, both of them have got the, um, the the uncut gore scenes but the, un the, the extended version has extended dialogue scenes I believe. I'm not sure what exactly is in it but I don't think it's added gore. But it's still good to have two different versions of the film. Uh, it's not my favourite movie of the video nasties. Um, you have to, you have to wait a bit too long to get to the gore in my opinion, but it's all right. But I'm very pleased to find this. It's only a pound in CEX, which is a ridiculous price. I mean, it goes for like ten to fifteen pound now on Amazon and eBay. So that was a really good find. Very pleased with that. So that's Evil Speak. Next up, we have a vampire film from 1979 called Thirst. This is an Australian-made film, I believe. Um, David Hemmings is in this one as well. It's meant to be quite good. Um, yeah, I never used to like vampire films, but I'm starting to tolerate them a bit more now. 
and this one's meant to be good, pretty good, like I said. And it's on the hardcore label. Um, they get a lot of stick, these guys, but um, they release the odd gem, you know. But mostly trash that they release. I've pretty much got all their films actually on the on the hardcore label. I have to go through them all. That's another one from my collection. There, that's the first. <coughs> Moving on, we have Invasion of the Body Snatchers from 1978, uh, Donald, Donald Sutherland version. Um, yeah, this this story's been remade some, numerous times, I believe. Um, I did like the recent one, um, Invasion, with Nicole Kidman and Daniel Craig. That's pretty good. But I haven't seen this one all the way through. Um, I caught the last half a couple of years ago on TV, and it was pretty creepy. So I finally got it. Watch it all the way through this time, and should enjoy it. I liked what I saw on TV. Um, I think this is the best version of the story there is. Like I said, it's been remade a number of times. I think this is the, uh, the the best version, and it's got a audio commentary by the director and the trailer, so not too bad a release. Only two fifty. So that's Invasion of the Body Snatchers. All right, next up, it's Naked Lunch from ninety one. Another Cronenberg film to the collection. Now I've pretty much got all this stuff now except for what's that one I need? History Violence, yeah. History Violence, and I've got all of Cronenberg's films. And yeah, I don't know much about this film. I know Buckaroo Banzai, he's not a fan of this one, I remember he did a video about it, he's not a fan of this film at all, but uh, it looks, it looks an interesting one for sure, but um, Peter Weller, you know, he's a decent actor, I like him, and I'm a fan of Cronenberg, I like his films, so, looking forward to watching this one, see how it goes, um, this is a UK release, uh, special features, you get a commentary, some interviews, not too bad, and I believe it's uncut, yeah, so that's Naked Lunch. Alright, next up is Paranormal Activity 2. Now, my previous update, I got the first one, and I mentioned I liked it. Um, a lot of guys didn't, but I thought the first one was really good, quite scary. So I decided to get the second one, and yeah, not quite as good as the first. Uh, definitely not as scary, but um, it's a good companion to the first film. Um, it's kind of a, a prequel, then it eventually turns into a sequel towards the end. And it explains a bit more about the, the demon that's haunting this family. So it adds a bit more to the story. But yeah, it's creepy, but not very scary. You know, build-up's there, but there's no payoff, really. But I'm looking forward to seeing what Part 3 has in store. Hopefully it, he, um, some new scares, because this one pretty much had the same scares as the first one. It overplayed them a bit and it just wasn't that effective. But it was okay. So that's Paranormal Activity 2. Alrighty, next up, uh, House of Wax, uh, the remake, of course. Um, I've seen this one a while back and it turned out a lot better than I thought it would. Uh, it's got, got, some pretty, got some pretty good kills in it. And I love the whole scene at the end where the whole the House of Wax starts to melt. It's a brilliant scene. Um, so I've only seen it once, so I'm looking forward to watching it again. And yeah, one of the better remakes I thought. It's not too bad. So that's House of Wax from 2005. Righty, next we have a like, French twisted film, uh, Twi uh, Frontiers. Uh, I've seen this one before as well. Really enjoyed it, but it's not my favourite of the new uh, French new wave horror. No, not as good as Martyrs or uh, what's the other one? Inside. But it was okay. Not too bad. Got some good gore in there. So that's Frontiers from 2007. And concluding this update, we have Harpoon, the Reykjavik whale watching massacre. Yeah, I've seen a number of guys talk about this one. Um, it gets pretty mixed reviews though, but I thought I'd check it out for myself. You know, it's like an homage to Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Got Gunnar Hansen in this, in this one as well. Looks pretty gory. So, give it a go for myself, see what I think. Should be okay, if it's gory, I'm, I'm satisfied, you know. So that's Harpoon, the Reykjavik Well Watching Massacre. And that is the end of my update for this, uh, for this week. So, um, once again guys, thanks for watching. Thanks for all the comments and the subscribers, friend invites. Really appreciate it. So take care, enjoy the rest of your week, and goodbye. Bye.